Happy Sunday, everyone. I'm so glad that you dropped by today because I want to announce today's winner, the random reading for the mediumship, which is Teresa. Teresa, thanks so much for your lovely note. And I want to let you know that when I read your note, immediately I had a sense of someone coming around me. Now I want to let you know that before the reading, I did a great um, meditation and I was able to send spirit around a lot of situations for you. And especially one of them, um, guilt that you carry as a result of a death that happened many years ago, probably about 27 or 28 years ago. Now, along with this death comes a connection to a RO, who's either a Robert, a Ross, uh, it could be Rhonda, Ronald, I don't know who that person is, but very, very important for a J connection who has passed approximately 26, 27 years ago. Now, I need to let you know that this person tells me that eight is very important for you, August is extremely important, and that there are two celebrations coming up in August, one in September, and a short trip following that. Now, just to let you know also that someone else does come along with that and tells me that April is extremely important, or the number four. Now, I need to let you know, Teresa, that around you, you've had a lot of um, loss, a lot of grief, a lot of, um, how would I say, when the telephone rang, you expected the worst, and I need to give you a message that you need to change that within you. You need to know that there's brightness ahead of you, and that you have to let go of the fact that everybody around you that you love dies on you so easily, or so quickly, or so suddenly, or so traumatically. You need to know that these are not the lessons that you need to carry, however, you've learned from them. Now, there's a man that comes through with a lot of love for you, and he tells me that you carry a lot of guilt in regards to his loss, in regards to the fact that he took his own life. And when he did, there was a delay in something. I don't know if it was in a funeral. I don't know if it was in a wake. But there was some kind of delay, and this was allow you uh, to allow you some time to be able to accept what it is that happened. Now there's been other losses um, around that. And I need to tell you that these weigh heavily on you as a result of feeling that everyone you love and everyone ahead of you is going to simply die or leave you. And so with the guilt that you hold in regards to this, you need to know that first of all, Teresa, you were never responsible for these deaths. People didn't leave you or die on you because you weren't good or you didn't deserve to be loved. People just simply died because it was, was, it, it was simply what was agreed in their lifetime. It's what they chose before they came here into this lifetime. You see, for me, souls are very highly evolved energies that know exactly which lessons they need to learn here on this earth. And they pick these lessons because the more emotion that they feel or the more that they learn from these emotions, the higher they evolve in spirituality. And when they cross over, they just evolve at a higher spiritual level or a soul level, as I'd say. So. Yes, these challenges are hard and difficult, but you have to look at the challenges yourself and know that you must be a very highly evolved soul as well to have chosen these partners or these people in your lifetime to share these type of traumatic endings or these endings that are so difficult. Now I have to tell you that I have a man around you that illuminates his chest and tells me that he dies of either a heart or a lung problem. He shows me his legs, he tells me that also the number 14 is important for you or something coming up on the 14th. Now, I would think it's either September or October, but I'm not exactly sure. There's also celebrations around the 21st that are coming to fruition for you. I have a lot of love and people that come around you to embrace you, but you need to start believing that they do. You need to believe that they come around you, Teresa, and that they love you very much and that you're going to do extremely well with what's ahead, but that you need to know and you need to let go of the thought that you were responsible with these deaths somehow or that they left you because you didn't deserve to be loved. You need to open your heart. You need to open the doors ahead. I want to wish you a beautiful day. I hope that you enjoyed the messages from your loved ones. 
And I hope that you could find it in yourself to forgive your actions and to forgive yourself and to move forward to what's ahead because you have beautiful light and love coming ahead and someone that is actually going to be sticking around for a very long time. So I hope that you have a great week ahead. If you have any questions, certainly send me a private email. And I'll talk to you real soon, Teresa. Love and light. Bye-bye.